All right, g'day guys, and welcome back tonight to another Realmworks video. Tonight, there's a little bit of excitement around the forums and the Facebook page. Um, basically, we've seen an update come out for Realmworks, and uh, the crowd is going wild, is uh, probably the, uh, the way to explain it. Um, so before we jump into that, I thought we'd just have a quick discussion about what's happening with Realmworks. Um, I quite often get messages from people who are looking into Realmworks for the first time, investigating whether they should basically invest in this program. And one of the questions that comes back to me, is this a dead product? Are the developers even still working on this? Uh, the answer to that was for quite a while unknown. Um, there had been a long period of silence from the development team. Um, we still had um, communication coming out of their, you know, their, um, their communication employees, but the developers themselves kind sort of uh, disappeared. Now, we know the reason for that now. Um, and it, it was a very personal reason. Um, the owner and primary developer of Realmworks, Rob, um, he got very sick um, and he was dealing obviously with uh, some, some issues there um, and obviously focusing on his health. Um, and that basically dropped him out of the game for a while. Um, he got to a stage where he couldn't concentrate on the code and therefore couldn't really adequately um, pump out any updates for Realmworks. And he's apologized profusely for that, but Obviously, he had to take care of his health, and who are we to, you know, to hold a man against that? I think he's done everything he had to possibly do to get himself back on track. In the last month or half, we've seen a uh, significant improvement in communication coming out of Lone Wolf. Um, we've seen Rob posting weekly development updates in the forums, um, and he basically has been uh, guiding us through what he's been basically doing, and that has been to basically deploy 64 bits of Realmworks. For anyone who's got a bit of a history with Realmworks, they will know that there is a uh, an issue in that we couldn't put in large pictures, and the larger realms got, the slower the basically Realmworks went. Um, tabbing, changing tabs, was often very slow and a bit of a painful experience, so much so that, like myself, I would just avoid using tabs altogether. And I think Rob acknowledged this, and he knew that once they launch the content market, there's going to be a lot more content that people are playing with. There's going to be more people dealing with large realms. And he wanted to avoid them having a bad user experience. Um, I've worked quite closely with Rob for a, a, quite a while. Um, had some really good conversations with him. And one thing I've learned about the man is that he's very detailed. If I've planned something, he's planned 10 other things around that something. All right, that's the sort of man he is. He's going to dot his I's twice and cross his T's twice. Um, he'll make sure that... He, he basically measures three times and cuts once and cuts once to perfection. Now, in my personal opinion, this is why we don't have calendars. This is why we don't have the bells and whistles that people want. Rob hasn't finished the foundation for Realmworks and he wants to do that. He wants to build the perfect foundation so that he can build everything else that comes you know, after that fact. And he knows that if he rushes this foundational bit, He's going to basically open himself up to a whole world of hurt in the future because he's not going to be able to go backwards so easily. It's easy to build a house and to add things to the house. It is not easy to build a house and then to put a basement underneath the house. Okay? That's just the way it is with this sort of architecture. Um, and we are talking here about architecture. This is a, a uh, database program. A lot of thought has gone into how it works and obviously um, they're, they're trying to future-proof it for the things that come. So, with that said... Rob's priority has obviously been 64-bit. He's punched that out. He's released it today. Uh, he's released it as a beta. So this is an optional upgrade. It's an open beta for all users of the program. So you're absolutely welcome to jump in and get that right now if you want. Or you can wait until it comes out officially. Completely up to you. If you do upgrade to 64-bit, there's an option to roll back to 32-bit. It's simply a case of installing another installer over the top of the 64-bit uh, one. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a look and we'll show you around. All right, so the first thing we're looking at tonight is basically the, uh, the Low Wolf Development Forums. Now, these are obviously where the update patches uh, or the updates are getting posted by Rob. Um, you can see Rob on the left here, Lone Wolf staff and Rob. He's the, uh, the owner and the uh, primary developer of Realmworks, of which we're hearing there's multiple developers now, by the way, which is fantastic news. Um, and he's put a very detailed post in here about the, uh, the upgrade. So you can see two links. The top one is build 246. That's the 64-bit build. That's the one you probably want to try. The bottom one, build 245. All right, that's the one to roll back. If you get crashes, if you get issues, you should download this and install it. 
and then come to the forums and post what is going wrong, or at least post a, uh, a fault in the official Realmworks fault logging system. Um, if you're having issues with this, I can't stress it off. We need to tell the developers everything. We need to let them know so they can fix it. This is what it's for. Um, there's some incredibly detailed notes here about the changes that have occurred. So do feel free to jump in and have a look at those. Um, there's some really good stuff in here. Um, but a lot of the things you're probably not going to see, it's stuff that's basically done on the architecture underneath the program itself. So this patch is all about making the, uh, the, the performance of the program better and making the UI better. All right, so with that said, let's jump in and have a look at Realmworks. Here we are. Uh, well, welcome to Realmworks. Um, and the thing everyone wants to see, obviously, is, is tabbing quicker. Oh, I got a bit of time there. But as you can see, yes. Yes, it is absolutely quicker. Um, I couldn't have done that three times previously, probably three different tabs. Now I can, you know, I can quickly change tabs, tabs as I need. Round of applause, Rob. Absolutely fantastic change. And this is exactly what we needed. Everyone would like to see content market, but 64 bit is what we needed in order to get more out of the application and to have it keep up with the amount of content and data that we're putting into it. So round of applause, absolutely hats off. Now, just a note here, by the way, some of you can probably see that I've got a gray thing around my mouse in here. I've done that for you guys. What we've done is basically installed something so that you can see what I'm writing in future videos. Um, that's not Realmworks providing that down there. That's just uh, me making things better for your video experience. So just ignore that bit. Um, another thing you might notice is there's a slight gap between the topics now. All right, it's ever so slight, but it's just enough to make it sort of look neater and cleaner, I think. It gives the UI a less of a cramped feel. Um, small change, but I think a welcome one. Now, there's a couple of other little things, but uh, some of the things that they've done significantly uh, is to play around with uh, creating new topics and uh, some new functionality there. So the plus buttons that exist on top of the, uh, the topic categories uh, usually opens this this window here and we can see here we can use this to create a new topic so we can create something called my journal all right now we can create that we can create it and edit in the current tab we can create an edit in a new tab so fantastic options we don't even have to have, have it open anymore you can just make things really quickly over here on the right uh, you can see oh, what container you put things in you can pick you can come in here and say I don't want it to go in here. I want it to go in. Oh, where can I find it? Uh, we'll go in water deep. That'll do. Um, and we've got some options here. So views, this is new. So now when we create a topic, we can basically define what views it goes into. So I'm going to put this into my topic view, which means it will go into the world almanac as well as the topic view. For anyone who hasn't watched my videos on how that works, I, I strongly recommend it. Worldview will always contain all story topics. Topic view is a filtered list of everything, well, of what you pick from there. All right, so a filtered list. So you can you can define what is shown in a topic view, but everything will be shown in the world almanac view. Just like the story almanac is a filtered list of anything that's in the, the world almanac. Um, we can also assign tags. Now this is really cool. Now. For this to work, basically what we do is we come in here and we say, I want to assign the incomplete tag. Um, and basically we're going to create and I'm going to edit a new tab. And over here we can see the in incomplete tag. Now eventually what you could do is you could add that tag to the global filter and you will see all of the incomplete topics. This could be really cool for you keeping track of what you need to work on in your realm. Once it's complete, you change it over to complete tag, for example, and you know it's done. Um, really good way to manage your work if you're working on a really large piece of contact. Now to get this to work, you need to click this little button up here and you can see there's some new icons there to indicate that we've got things turned on. Uh, so what I did in order to make this work is when you come in here, it should look like this. Uh, sorry, like this. Um, and you won't have any icons on there. So you need to click this button and you basically need to have a read here. So global tag filtering, enable global tag filtering with current tag. 
um, or enable automatic assigning of tags to new content. So that's the one we're going to do in this case. I click this button here to choose what I want to actually add. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the utility. I'm going to use the incomplete. All right, uh, include automatically assigned tags and global filter. I'm going to click OK. And this is what basically enables me to have these buttons come up now. Uh, when I click the plus sign, I can now assign my, my tags, all right, my incomplete tags. All right, so that's, that's a really functional uh, addition to the program, in my opinion, because it's going to help you sort of uh, utilize tags in a more functional way, and it's going to help you really improve things. Um, but, of course, what really matters, what, what it's all about this, guys. It's all about how much speed you've got from changing tabs. I'm just going to do it again just for the fun of it, just see if I can go so fast that I can break it. It's, oh, I can. I can do it. And guys, this is what I do, right? Rob throws an update. I'm going to try and break this thing. It's, it's what I do. Um, but absolutely, round of applause, Rob. Um, this is exactly what we needed. I'm really happy to see it. So I'm going to try and push this to the absolute max. I'm going to try and wipe the dust off my old uh, Forgotten Realms uh, realm and see if I can uh, basically <laughs> throw that at it. Uh, I think that was at around 8,000 topics or something last time I saw it. So that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll leave a comment in the, uh, or a note in the comments, sorry, uh, with a link to where you can get this patch so you can jump in and get it yourself. Um, and apart from that, if you have any questions or queries, please do post them in the comments below. And apart from that, I will speak to you on the forums and, uh, do let us know if you're, uh, you get an improved experience. Thanks guys.